Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn Yourself. Uh, in this video we will see how to create a, a load balancer and um, a, uh, create a launch configuration and auto scaling group everything. So I am going to the um, EC2 first. So in this EC2 you can see here we have a load balancing in that we have a load balancer. So I will show you how to create a uh, classic load balancer first. So in this video we will see classic load balancer. So classic load balancer just create it. So load balancer will equally share the traffic for that we are using the class uh, load balancer so uh, generally we are, we are we will be using the uh, classic load balancer for the micro based service we will be using application load balancer so um, you can give any kind of name for the load balancer i am mentioning clb so uh, in this i am going to choose a default vpc if you have you created your own vpc you can bring under this um, under your uh, own vpc so i am going to create the external not the internal load balancer so i am mentioning um, so i did not enable this option next um, if you have any advanced configuration uh, you are you are bringing under your own vpc so you can enable this option and you can do the modification here in future videos i will upload uh, how to uh, enable the advanced option and what are the modifications we can do so next i am using the protocol http if you have in the certification of your website um, so you can use the https so uh, the https will use 443 and um, http will use 80 this is the default port so i am using http so next um, I'm, we are going to the security group so for the security group i am going to create a new one so uh, for now i am going to allow all so if you give allow all it will be allow 0 to 65535 port range so this will be the uh, port range so uh, this port will be allow by all and then um, you can choose if you have any specific ip you want to use it then you can choose this ip and you can um, use this uh, so my ip means this is the instance um, this is the, uh, your own IP so and uh, if you are giving anywhere anyone can access 0.0.0 slash 0, .0, .0, 0 and uh, if you are giving customized uh, things you can mention any security group which is CIDR um, um, uh, IP or security group so uh, you can give any CIDR range you can give like that so now I am allowing all TCP so next uh, the source need to be CIDR block so custom 0.0.0, .0. so next configure uh, security group so if you are using HTTPS um, then you, you need to configure here so I am right now I am not using HTTPS I am using HTTP so um, I am not configure anything in the configure security settings next uh, configure the health check so in configure health check uh, I am using HTTP so the port number will be the 80 so if you are raising using the health check uh, uh, the the path will be in the default path with uh, underscore index dot html so um, the response time uh, should be the for the health check within the five second we need to get it for the single cycle and uh, the interval should be uh, in the 30 and un unhealthy threshold which means uh, if you if the response timeout uh, is um, in the 
in the interval period two times if got failed then it will be consider it as a unhealthy and if it is success in the 10 times then it will be consider as a healthy instance so i will give five uh, next uh, you you need to add the instances so i did not configured any instances so if if you are configuring some instances so it will come here um so next we will do the uh, ec2 instance so we will create a ec2 instance and we will attach this to this otherwise um you can go directly from here uh, from the launch configuration it will be taking automatically so uh, if you are next here you can see enable cross loading load balancing which means it will uh, if you enable this option it will create uh, in the other availability zones also so whenever the um, whenever uh, any any power down or any disasters happen so it automatically switch over to the next availability zone so if you want you can enable this option and uh, cross enable cross draining which means if in case of the server is down um, the three and up to 300 seconds you can uh, stay in that particular page that is enable cross draining option so I am disabling this option also so next uh, um, if you want you can add a tags I'm giving tag as a load balancer so next create so this like you can create the uh, load balancer so if if it is for this uh, this region and Virginia it is available up to uh, six availability zones we have it so that's what it's showing and we have a created we have created the type is classic load balancer and the created time here so we can create the load balancer like this in the next part we will see uh, how to create the uh, launch configuration